On this edition of FIM Motor Show, the Grand Prix Commission enacts a cost-cutting drive ahead of the 2009 MotoGP World Championship. A red-hot James Stewart attempts to win six on the trot in the latest round of the AMA Supercross Series. And we take a trip back to 2008 and chronicle the season that was in the FIM Supermoto World Championship. We begin the program on the tranquil surrounds of Lake Geneva, which was the venue for an important meeting between the leading figures of the Grand Prix Commission on the future of the 2009 FIM MotoGP World Championship. Tough economic times call for tough decisions, and that's exactly what the Grand Prix Commission faced as officials met at the International Motorcycling Federation headquarters in Me near Geneva top officials including FIM President Vito Ippolito and Dorna Chairman Carmelo Espaleta emerged from the meeting to announce a number of key cost-cutting changes to the 2009 FIM MotoGP World Championship. The significant technical measures introduced include the banning of electronic and hydraulic launch control systems as well as electronic suspension systems. Ceramic composite materials will also not be permitted for brake discs or pads. In addition, the second half of the 2009 season will see further restrictions on the number of engines used by riders, commencing after the two-week summer break in August. Very important is the reduction of the use of the engines. From the uh, Czech Republic Grand Prix, uh, the teams will be allowed to use only five engines for the next eight races. The other key measure saw Friday morning practice sessions cancelled completely for all three Grand Prix classes. The afternoon session will remain, while the duration of all practice sessions and qualifying for MotoGP have been reduced from one hour to 45 minutes. One of the most important issues is the reduction of the practice. Uh, we will have the Friday only uh, one practice and also the reduction of the time of, the, of, the, uh, of this practice. Some in the sport have called for more radical cost-cutting measures to be taken from 2010, following the lead set by Formula One. MotoGP costs have been in the spotlight since Kawasaki announced it was considering pulling its team out of the championship, citing the global economic slowdown. With the measure approvals today, it uh, permits uh, the viability of uh, MotoGP for the, for the future with a uh, well, strong and, and real good future uh, because we approve many things that will permit to reduce the cost uh, dramatically. Further rule changes for the 2010 Grand Prix season, including the possible banning of spare bikes, are still to be decided upon at a later date. The 2009 FIM MotoGP World Championship begins with the Grand Prix of Qatar on April the 12th. The city of San Diego, the second largest in the state of California, hosted round seven of the 2009 AMA Supercross Series. Having notched up five wins in a row, San Manuel Yamaha's James Stewart got off to a decent start, overtaking Suzuki's Mike Alessi right after flag off. And puts the number seven solidly into the lead. Reed comes challenging back from the inside. Can he get around Alessi before the next corner? He's and, got him. So now Reed goes after Stewart. With arch-rival and championship leader Chad Reed hot on his heels, Stewart decided to go full throttle, quickly pulling away to a big lead. Back on the grid, Yamaha's Brock Hepler put in a couple of quick laps to stay third. Honda's Andrew Short lurking close by, waiting for the slightest mistake. Now he goes after Hepler, makes contact, down goes Hepler, Short goes into third. 
In a particularly engrossing battle for fifth spot, Kawasaki's Ryan Villapoto turned on the heat, trying his best to topple Honda's Kevin Winder. Davy Millsaps then piled on the misery, relegating Wyndham to seventh place. Millsaps trying to set himself up to the inside, right alongside of Wyndham. They come side by side out of that corner, through the rhythm section, and Millsaps, the rider out of Georgia, now finds himself in sixth. Up front, race leader Stewart seemed to have a measure of the racetrack, setting himself up for another victory. Well, you see the sign, plus nine. It is a healthy plus nine, almost plus 10. The nice. gap between Stewart and Reed, 9.8 seconds right now between the two champions. It was an absolutely commanding performance. Stewart setting a new benchmark in consistency. Six wins in a row for James Stewart as he claims the checkered flag in San Diego. Chad Reed will take second and look at the battle to the line for third and it's just going to go to Andrew Short just in front of Ryan Villapoto but the man of the night is James Stewart he'll tie for the points lead but he makes a huge statement by taking victory number six in a dominating fashion every weekend you're looking more and more comfortable what is it that's making you excel even more it's my gear, my whole outfit, my bike, everything looks good, so you know it's time to go fast. So, round number seven yielding a familiar sight. Stewart acing this one to take full points, followed by rival Reed. Honda's Andrew Short performing brilliantly to take the final podium position. Confirmation of Stewart's newfound status in the rider's standings, the Yamaha rider finally displacing Reed at the top spot by virtue of more race wins. Short also making the upward climb, overtaking Grant to enter the top three. Still ahead on FIM Moto Show, we have a one-on-one -on -one with the man many people consider a future MotoGP world champion. And you are watching FIM Motor Show. On first impressions, Jorge Lorenzo looks like the boy next door. The Spaniard's youthful appearance and quiet demeanor almost looks out of place in the high energy world of MotoGP. But don't be deceived. Under that innocent exterior lies a fierce competitor, who many experts believe is a future FIM MotoGP world champion. For me, I wish uh, to get this as soon as possible, but uh, we have to say that, uh, that now in this category, we, we are the best, the best riders on the planet. So to, to finish the first of, of this, uh, these riders, it's so difficult. Lorenzo was undoubtedly the rookie revelation of the 2000.